chairman of the American Museum, Hayden Planetarium, here in New York, is spending his day with us because Spencer's off. Which it's always a nice place to be. Thank good. you. We've got some pretty good weather again in the north. We finally we lucked like out, too. and finally a good weekend for us in the north. All right. We have had it. Good, good to have you back. It's Thank awesome. you. I know we came in because we're having a what a lunar lunar eclipse, eclipse. this Sunday. All yeah, right, Sunday night. Also this morning, we're going to have a portrait of an American family. You might... With Joan and Bill. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Meteorologist Bill Gutsch, chairman of the American Museum Hayden Planetarium here in New York, filling in today for Spencer Christian. I said, what are you going to start with? He said, snow. snow. I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> the calendar says almost summer, but you wouldn't know it in the Pacific Northwest, up oh, in the Cascades. Boy. little northern exposure. Called the relaxation response. Now, how does that work? Well, the best way to understand the relaxation... A little bit of this relaxation technique. Works wonders. And Dr. Benson, thank you very much. The name of the book again is the the wellness the book. The weathered from the old Soviet Union, shared with us with the uh, cooperation of the Library of Congress. Also, singer, actor, songwriter Mac Davis. He's now starring on Broadway in the Will Rogers Follies. We should also remind you that on Monday we begin a week-long series on yeah. parenting. Each day, the renowned pediatrician T. Barry Brazelton will be with us. Questions like, uh, can you spoil a baby? How do you teach right from wrong? Very interesting half hour, 8.30, half hour each day next week. We'll see you Monday. Take care. Good Thanks weekend to person, so let's hear what he thinks. Hi, Joel. <laughs> Good morning, John. I think Alec Baldwin was terrific in Hunt for Red October. I think Rouse never scared anybody. <laughs> All right. I'll leave that one alone. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> do I get to sing next time? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> it's nice to have you both with us. And if you're going to be one weekend, it's going to be hard to avoid Ross Perot. Mr. Perot has uh, purchased scads of television time. They've Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Joan Lennon. It is Tuesday, November 3rd, and that makes it Election Day 1992. Just before the break for local news there, we were talking to some folks from that Project Vote Smart, where you can get yeah. nonpartisan, uh, non-endorsement information about the candidates. And uh, we had the 800 number that you can still call. Of the big stuff that they use for election coverage. And then also coming up, uh, compelling personal stuff. in precincts around the country? That's a whole lot of territory. How do you do this? Yes, Day weather. Spencer? Okay, Joan, let's take a look at what's going on around the country. It seems so vague. Like, what kinds of things does this pop Well, hi, I'm Charles Gibson, and I'm right in front of the Good Morning America set, which is also here in New York, and all I want to say <laughs> is Good Morning America. It is Tuesday, November 3rd, Election Day. And good morning, I'm Joan London. It is uh, Election Day, and we've been telling you all morning long to get out and vote, so we won't go back over but that. But isn't a book like this kind of a way of saying goodbye too, looking back and being able to say it was good and I... Yeah, it is. Uh, I think it was an appropriate... Maybe playing an inaugural or something like that? Uh, I tell you... What did you think when you first heard that they were going to use one of your songs as their theme well, campaign song? Everybody from Little Rock these days making that point. Good Must morning, everyone. Must be an everyone. excited place right now. Absolutely. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Joan London. Good it day. is Thursday. It's November 5th. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I stepped on you there. Apologize. You got a cold. Yes, I do. And the voice is a little soft. But we're this here. Morning. That counts, right? For points? Yes, no, absolutely. <laughs> no, I just. Uh... <laughs> I can barely hear you, so I stepped on you. Those of us uh, old enough to remember uh, President Kent. All right, Tyler, thank you very thank much. Thank you. And good morning, America. Continue well, sudden going up. Yes, they have indeed. And uh, so uh, the advice here is... Thank you very much. Seven minutes after seven, it is time for the weather maps. What you got, Spence? Well, we've got some cold weather pushing into the uh, sky. I know you hate to hear that, don't but you? But it is that time of year. So. It is that time of year, so get out the heavy clothes, as we've done today, and let's go to the map. Uh, the, the gag rule, um, the only reason that, you, that, the, that your group has not already um, stopped uh, k mentioning the word uh, abortion in your uh, counseling is that there was no backup plan made for your group to be phased out. That's one reason. And then um, we are uh, learning more about Planned Parenthood. We are not, I know that uh, we are discussing very controversial issues and I'm um, stressed that Kitty is representing Planned Parenthood and, um, and their views and not anybody, anybody else's. So keep that in mind as we continue our discussion. Um, now, you talked about how uh, you think that this, this, this gag rule will be repealed and mm -hmm. that you will be able to do this. If it were not to be repealed, uh, how come you're still able to do this and you're still getting federal funding? Well, Marlon Perkins, hey, get out of here. Hey, no, where's Got Jim a replacement. <laughs> we're back in, uh, in Wangay National Park at 730. You like this setup? It's a little bit different. Than yeah, the, I like it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, we moved, moved down about uh, about 40 yards from uh, from where we were set up over there. We're going to go on back to uh, the watering hole behind us uh, in this head. Yeah. Richmond, Virginia, one more time for Spencer to check out the weather forecast. Spence? Uh, all right, Mike, once again, it's going to be a very chilly Friday in the... Power, floss, and brush. 
Back to Richmond, Virginia one more time for Spencer to check out the weather forecast. Spence? Uh, all right, Mike, once again. It's all week long at 8.30 on holiday entertaining, American style, all kinds of great stuff like yep. inventive ways of dressing up your dinner table and also fixing outdoor tree decorations that your backyard birds will love. Also some new ideas for an old-fashioned potluck dinner. And also next week, former President Jimmy Carter, Neil Diamond, and Barry Manlow. Good lineup. What a cast. What a cast. <laughs> we hope you have a wonderful and a safe weekend. There are a lot of people at Channel 5 who are using the skills they have here, uh, public relations skills, writing skills, whatever they can do, working for yourself. Yes, that's right. We have people who are busy professionals. More and more volunteers every year or fewer. I you do volunteer. It's, sometimes it's hard to get yourself motivated to do it. You think, I don't have time, I'm so busy. And then once you do it, you feel so much better and you realize it doesn't have to take a lot of time. It takes as much time as you can allow. Scott, on the other hand, uh, uh, it, was meant, it was absolutely meant for me. <laughs> Jackie Nesprov. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Jackie. Uh, the British and the French specifically are concerned that using NATO forces for airstrikes or something on that order could jeopardize some of the forces that they have on the ground. And right now, those soldiers are working in some very dangerous areas, trying to secure uh, the food uh, to that area. We're, we're delighted for too. you. Thank Merry you, Christmas. We'll see you on Christmas morning here from uh, Walt Disney World. Looking forward Have a great When is this going to happen, Kathy? Well, we don't want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it took eight minutes, but here we are. <laughs> Rich, how are you? You look very festive. The Lexington Philharmonic and the Lexington Singers. Phenomenal. Really nice. Thanks to all of them and to sister stations, WKYT-TV in Lexington and WYMT-TV in Hazard, Kentucky. Welcome. In-laws, we'll get you some help in our next half hour. First, Mark McEwen's with us. Good, Good morning, morning to you. you. Excellent interview with us. <laughs> it works. Believe me, it works. Here's someone who needs Hang you. with me. To... You've got a call? Oh, yeah. I've got a call. Do you have a call? No. Healthy as a horse. Where's Alan all? Unbelievable special effects. Mm -hmm. Well, A shame it doesn't work. That's too bad. Thanks, Joel. Unbelievable special effects. Mm -hmm. Well, a shame it doesn't work. That's too bad. Thanks, Joel. Coming up on 12 Facts, but the big question is, will we want to play? Joel? <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. You saw the coming. We will be a major zoo someday. I think so. I think we're, we're really on the way. We get our funding uh, basically from major... For a zoo to be free in this day and age? I think so. I think northeastern Wisconsin and upper Michigan. Is it unusual for a zoo to be free in this day and age? I think... Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you for okay. making me feel so welcome. We're all going to gather up here tomorrow. We've got a big New Year's uh, Day celebration. Okay. Stay safe tonight, okay? Go slow. We'll see you in 93. All right, Diana. Thanks very much. It's been our great pleasure this week to have Fritz Coleman in the studio giving us the weather. Fritz. Thank you, sir. Big football day on NBC tomorrow. Let's get a look now at uh, what we expect weather conditions to be like in those cities. Hey. <laughs> 8.31, on to the news desk, quickly. Diana Curry. <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody. Good morning. Criticize Dante. Gee, Brian, I have no idea. <laughs> no, it, in fact, we're going to take a look back at 92. It's a tradition, of course, in this business to look back over the year, over the news events that happened in 92, and again, we'll do that to find out what we most remember. Okay, one more time, Joey. Is Dante moving? Good, they really are. Still to come, we're going to take a ride on a robot and go down inside a volcano on the South Pole. I'm just trying to recover from Dame Edna. Understood. Station work. <laughs>
Ed and Margaret. You don't think it's a strange world? A Republican president hires a Democratic appointee to defend him against the assault of a prosecutor who is a Republican. Let's turn to the weather. Fritz Coleman. We're somewhere. I mean, don't people put up calendars and never flip them? I sort of do that. Yeah. Unless I buy the uh, Sierra Club calendar and then I look through all the pictures and never use it again. The Sierra Club calendar? It's a great calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Veach turned in. For your heart, John, joining me is John Breaker. And he's the director of this group and you're also physical education coordinator in the Menasha school system. Correct. Yes. How did you get involved with that, the jump roping, John? We began the jump rope for heart program in Menasha about eight years ago. We had seen the Milwaukee team do their demonstration. And it was sort of like, uh, it just seemed to be a very good fitness activity that all the kids, any body build, any type, any... I watch Meet the Press this morning. I'm going to get ready for the dolphin game <laughs> this afternoon at 4. Oh, well, you don't yeah. have to get ready as much as the players. Well, I've got, I've got to get ready. I've got I to know. put on my uh, dolphin warm-up suit. Right. Get on the your popcorn dip. ready and yeah. all that, yes? <laughs> on your dip. Ready. Anyway, thanks for joining us this Sunday morning. We leave you this week with memories of two people who made the world uh, happier and more interesting before they died this week. Rudolf Nureyev, who said after he... Is it, it going to snow or not here in New York? Uh, it's going to snow tonight. <laughs> yes, indeed. Not enough to go skiing, but... It's no, you don't. You're right. We will find it here, though. I mean, we'll... <laughs> We'll, oh, we got a couple of interesting things coming up tomorrow, too, we to have. tell you about. First of all, we're going to have the latest in the Gulf, obviously. Yes. Then we're going to drop in on Monticello or Monticello? Monticello, Virginia. Okay. They'll say Monticello in Italian, I and guess. And Bill Clinton's departure point before the inauguration. That's tomorrow. Right. So have a great day. We hope you'll join us tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joan London. I'm Mike Schneider in for Charlie Gibson on this Thursday, the 14th day of January. Very big half hour coming up yeah. for you. Very much, John. It is six minutes after. We've got some big news from the fashion world this oh, yeah. morning because here it is—a sneak preview mm, of Hillary Clinton's inaugural gown. Now we've been hearing. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> a tux. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Hey, that, that you just guys about have it so easy. It. Just put on well, the old. He doesn't tuxedo. have it so easy at his map today. It's uh, moving. Well, you're right about that. There's a lot of stuff moving. Let me move over there and okay. show you what's going on, Joan. The conflict with Iraq. We're going to examine that question in our next hour. Also, find out if you are living in a state with the best daycare in the country. And if you're not, find out what makes a daycare center good for your child. And for all you late night TV watchers that are up early in the morning, <laughs> the big news about David Letterman. But it, obviously, you wouldn't be up that late or you wouldn't be up this early, would you? Unless you stayed up all need night. Less sleep. <laughs> maybe they stayed up all night. Then send us your secret. We'll be right back. <laughs> A whole lot of folks getting ready to move, too, probably. Yeah, I, I, I hope the, uh, the employment scene is good for them because, obviously, things will be changing in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, real estate agents are having a heyday right now in <laughs> Washington, I'm sure. Good morning, everyone. I'm John London. And I'm Mike Schneider in for Charlie Gibson. It is Thursday, the 14th day of January here in ninth week because on Monday we're going to begin our countdown to the inauguration. A look at the politics, the players, and the performers all going to Washington. Also, a conversation with actor Bill Bixby about his battle with cancer. Tuesday, the reunion of Fleetwood Mac and, of course, don't forget Good Morning America Sunday. And we're going to fit that all into one week? Absolutely. An action-packed week it really is going to be with the inauguration next week. I think so. Have a safe weekend. We'll see you Monday.